one year Amazon KDP. When I looked into my Amazon KDP dashboard a few days ago, I realized that I actually run Amazon KDP for almost a year now. And I thought for this special event, I want to make a video about how I started with all this self-publishing stuff, how my journey was during the last year, why I started in the first place, and of course, if Amazon KDP is worth it or not. And so welcome, all welcome back, back to my YouTube channel, where I talk about self-publishing with Amazon KDP and help you to earn money online. Amazon KDP has been around for many years now, so it's not surprising that many people use this business model to make money online. However, in my comments, I always see people who are new to self-publishing and new to KDP. Probably, especially in these difficult and expensive times, people are looking for ways to make themselves a bit more financially independent and they are looking for a way to build a second source of income. That's the reason for this video, because for anyone who is new and starting out with KDP, the whole topic can be a bit overwhelming in the beginning. I want to give you some insights today on how my journey has been over the past year with Amazon KDP, why I started, how I got started, and of course, if it's worth it for you to start with Amazon KDP in 2023. If you like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Why did I start with Amazon KDP? The reason is probably very obvious. I was, like you, looking for a way to build a second financial leg to stand on besides my main job. So that I am just a bit more financially independent and can possibly afford additional things that I can't afford with a normal income. I finally opened an account with Amazon KDP back in May 2021. After that, I watched countless videos on YouTube to learn what Amazon KDP is, how to proceed, how to upload your books, and what you need to run a profitable Amazon KDP business. Back at that time, unfortunately, the information density was not yet as high as it is today, and therefore, it took a while to really get into the matter. At some point, it finally became clear to me that Amazon KDP uses a print-on-demand process and that you can sell books and ebooks via this platform. For each sale, you get a royalty or a commission, and Amazon does all the work for you, whether it is the payment processing, the printing and shipping of the books, or even returns and complaints. The only thing you have to do is provide your files of the content and the cover and upload them to Amazon and publish them. How exactly did I get started? December 2021 was when I finished and published my first high content book through Amazon KDP. Of course, without any real niche research, without profitable keywords, and also I didn't know yet if you have to present your text content visually well and how a good cover should look like. I then went on Fiverr and got my first cover made for around about $20. And then after I published the book, it went pretty well with the sales in the beginning, but that was because a lot of my friends and family members bought the book. The sales have decreased with the time strongly, and the reason was the quality of the book and the quality of the niche I published the book in. However, right after the first few weeks, I had the proof that Amazon KDP can work, and it is actually possible to passively build up a second source of income, and that just gives you a bit more extra money to finance things like vacations. Now that I had proof that it can work, I of course researched further. Like probably the most of you, I came pretty quickly across low and no content books. Low and no content books are books with not much content 
in it, whether they are aligned, squared, logbooks, planners, or trackers. I saw that these types of books are super easy to implement and also can be done completely for free. So I thought, try to create loan or content books because then you just have the opportunity to publish so, so many books and every book you publish brings passive income. So give the whole thing a try. And that was really back in March last year. And from here, I actively started to publish countless books in various niches and on various topics. The whole thing has then worked partly good. A few books have sold, but many of them had not. But I still thought I will stay on it. I will continue to work and have again watched countless videos. How can I make my cover better? How can I make my content better? What resources are there? For example, Publisher Rocket or Helium 10, with which I found out good keywords. I then pushed KDP and kept publishing. Then last June, I published my second high content book, this time with a better niche research, because I have learned through the months simply on which niches it depends what must have a niche so that it is profitable and it is worth entering into this these learnings alone had an immediate effect i noticed that my second high content book makes much more revenue compared to the first one where i didn't do any niche research i also looked for something more professional in the cover design then it was tuned and I had my second high content book on the market. It took a while to get going until I started with Amazon ads. Again, I did a lot of research in YouTube. Unfortunately, Amazon advertising is only treated very roughly and superficially in YouTube and there's no real guideline on how to place professional and profitable ads. I tried it anyway, and was able to achieve the first good results. Then I had the thought, why not take this already existing book and publish the book in other languages? Because besides of Amazon DE, so Germany, there are of course countless other Amazon marketplaces, like for example, amazon.com for America, amazon.fr for France, or even Amazon Spain or Amazon Italy. I thought to myself, you already have the content, you have it translated, just redo the cover in another language and publish the same book in another language on another marketplace. And that actually worked very, very well. I put up my ads for each marketplace and then saw, okay, the whole thing is working now. There is really good income coming in where you can really talk about a second lag. And it was clear to me, Amazon KDP is a business model that works for me. It is fun to do. It can be done long term. Now it's just a matter of learning to try new things and keep working on publishing new books. And then my income will increase. When I saw that the high content books really work very well for me, I put my focus on this area and a little less on low and no content. I thought if you are going to put three, four months of work into low and no content books and publishing hundreds of those books that end up making the same money as one good high content book, you better should focus on high content. Then I started to publish my third high content book in December or November last year in a niche that is really very profitable. I had the goal to create the first time a high content book, which was on a professional publishing level where the content is perfect, the content is well designed with proofreading and a professional cover design done by a professional designer. Perfect advertising and also A plus content on a professional level. And that was the point for me when I published this book and I saw that in the first month alone, 
with my ads and with this one book, I earned over $1,500 with just a single book. And again, this was a point where I said to myself, publishing books on a professional level are the key to a successful KDP business. So that was my first year with Amazon KDP. Is Amazon KDP really worth it? To answer that question, let's look at my royalties for the entire life of my KDP account. You see, I currently have 113 books and seven of those are high content, the rest are low and no content. You can see it in the number we are now one year on Amazon KDP and in one year I have managed to make over $16,500 in royalties. And if you look at the bar chart, you will see that 80% of these $16,500 were generated in the last four to five months. From the point I said, drive this KDP business professionally, put work into it and publish and produce high quality books. Since then, the whole KDP business really picks up speed and generates me now consistently every month, relatively passive, a four digit income and profit. And in the meantime, I'm actually getting into a range where I am generating revenues that are worthy of an average salary. That means KDP can definitely be worthwhile. You have to step on the gas, you have to publish books, you have to learn, you have to develop yourself and you have to publish high quality books. Another point why Amazon KDP is definitely worth it is the possibilities or the doors that Amazon KDP can open for you. You know, on my YouTube channel, I show very constantly and transparently my earnings, my tips to KDP, niches to KDP and much more. The people so you viewers find the content good and you see a person who really seriously operates Amazon KDP and earns also relatively good results with it. That I have built up a certain expertise in the Amazon KDP business over this one year opens the door for me to produce content on YouTube. I can build a third source of income in the long term with a monetization on YouTube. Furthermore, YouTube gives you the opportunity to promote tools and software through affiliate links and generate affiliate marketing commissions. So if you are on Amazon KDP anyway and use various tools like Publisher Rocket, Creative Fabrica or Helium 10, then you can promote them at the same time and build up a fourth source of income through affiliate marketing. Due to the increasing number of subscribers and the increasing number of clicks, I generate here monthly on actual a three digit amount only through affiliate commission. And without Amazon KDP and the knowledge or the content, this revenue stream simply wouldn't be there. As more and more new people join KDP, and watch my videos or other videos, more and more people are coming to this online business model. I am seeing it more and more often now in my email inbox as well. People are asking for one-on-one -on -one coachings. If you have an expertise in KDP, you can offer coachings to newcomers and help them to build their own Amazon KDP business. So this opens another door to a fifth revenue stream. You can take this even further by producing online courses on a variety of Amazon KDP topics. In these courses, you give insights that you don't give on YouTube. This means that Amazon KDP alone gives you the opportunity to build up a sixth source of income through the production marketing and sale of online courses. This is where I am right now in building my revenue streams. I am currently producing a first online course on the topic of advertising through Udemy 
and as soon as this course is online i will of course let you know all in all amazon kdp is really worth it and i can highly recommend it to everyone not only that you can build a good solid second income with kdp alone if you build up a certain expertise in this area kdp opens so many doors for you to generate more revenue streams and to simply increase the overall turnover constantly so my conclusion for all of you who are new to kdp give the business model a chance set up the business model professionally step on the gas learn and educate yourself and then i can promise you that kdp is really a good entry point into making money online so now we are at the end of this video i hope you liked my journey my insights and my conclusion for the last year of amazon kdp if you do so make sure to hit the subscribe button put a thumbs up on this video and if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching. I wish you a very great day and we will see you in the next video.